Welcome back to C++ programming tutorial. In this video, we will understand uh, what is uh, function overloading and uh, we will write a simple C++ program to define three overloaded functions to find the sum of two integers, sum of uh, two floating point numbers and sum of three integers in this case. So uh, first, uh, we will try to understand what is uh, function overloading. Whenever we want to use the same name uh, for different uh, functions, that is called as a function overloading. If you want to do function overloading, either the number of uh, arguments should be different or the type of those arguments should be different or both may be different. So that is what is called as a function overloading. Now uh, we will try to write this particular program where we need to write three overloaded functions. The first will do the sum of uh, two integers. The second one will do the sum of uh, two floating point numbers and third one will do the sum of uh, three integers. So first we will include the header file uh, IO stream and then uh, we will uh, use uh, the standard namespace using using namespace std. After this uh, we will write uh, three functions uh, which will uh, be doing the sum of two integers, sum of two floating point numbers as well as sum of three integers. So now uh, we will start uh, writing the definitions of uh, those three functions. So first I will take the sum of two integers. So the written value of sum of two integers is always uh, integer only. So I will take int here. The name of the function I will consider it as the sum and then there are two parameters. So I will consider it as int x comma int y here. Now what happens here is within the definition of this particular function, it will return you uh, x plus y. That's it. Now coming back to the second one, uh, there is a, a floating point numbers we need to pass and then uh, the sum has to be returned. So I will consider it as double and then I will take uh, sum and then I will take double. You can say that x comma double y in this case. So in this case, you can see here, I have used the same function name that is sum, but uh, the number of arguments are same here, but the uh, type of arguments is different. Hence, we can use this particular syntax. It is valid a uh, statement in C++. Now what we do is uh, we will return again x plus y because we want to uh, return the uh, can say that uh, uh, sum of uh, those two numbers here. Finally, we will add one more function which will calculate the sum of three integers. So sum of three integers is always integer only. So int sum, int x, int y, comma int z you can say. These are the three parameters we are passing. Here it will return you x plus y plus z in this case. Now we have written all the three overloaded uh, functions here. Now we will go to the main part of our program int main here. Now within int main, what we do here is uh, uh, we will just call those particular three functions and then we will display the result. So see out, uh, you can say that uh, uh, first one we will call and display the result. First I will write something like this one, uh, the sum of two integers. Okay, so here I will call uh, sum with two integer numbers that is 10 comma 20 here. Now I will add one end line. So what happens here is I'm calling uh, the sum 10 comma 20. So uh, it will call the first function because the number of arguments are two and both the arguments of type integer here. So hence it will go to this particular function. This function will be called 10 plus 20 that is 30 will be returned here and it will be displayed here. Now coming back to the second one, uh, I will copy this particular line and then I will paste it here. The sum of two floating point numbers floats you can say uh, can say I will pass 10 comma 5 and then 20 comma 7 here so because the number of arguments are 2 uh, there is a confusion should I call this one or this one but the type of this arguments is double so the second one will be called 10 plus 10.5 plus 20.7 will be added and the double will be written to you so this is what actually happens here and finally I will calculate the sum of uh, three integers here I will call 10 comma 20 comma 30 here. So because the number of arguments are three, it will call this particular uh, overloaded function and uh, it will return you the sum of three integers in this case.
so this is how uh, we can write a simple uh, overloaded uh, function which will calculate the sum of two integers sum of two floating point or double uh, type of data and sum of three integers here now uh, we will check whether the program is uh, working fine or not by executing it i will compile and run this particular program now uh, you can see uh, the sum of two integers is 30 that is 10 plus 20 the second one is uh, sum of two floats so that is 31.2 that is a floating point number we are getting the sum of three integers is 10 plus 20 plus 30 that is 60 uh, that is uh, perfectly uh, we are getting over here so this is how uh, we can easily implement the function overloading in c plus plus i hope the concept is uh, clear uh, this will definitely help you in uh, final examination if you like the video do like and share this video with uh, all your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching